So here we have a problem where we're given the third term and the tenth term of an arithmetic sequence. We want to find the common difference D in the first five terms. So I'm going to write this out so that you can see what we have going on and then I'll give you an algorithm. So we've got the third term, the fourth term, the fifth term, the sixth term, the seventh term, the eighth term, the ninth term, and the tenth term. So the value of the third term is five, the value of the tenth term is 26. So to get from the third term to the fourth term, I'd have to add D, our common difference, once. Then to get from the fourth to the fifth, I'd have to add D again. So now I'm adding two common differences to get from the third to the fifth term. And, and let me do this in a, here, let me make all these little Vs. There we go in that color, but then I'm going to like see, add the common difference once, add it twice, that gets me to the fifth term, add it a third term gets me, a third time gets me to the sixth term, a fourth time gets me to the seventh, a fifth gets me to the eighth, a ninth, sixth time gets me to the ninth, and a seventh time gets me to the tenth term. So I'm adding D seven times to get from the third to the tenth term, to get from the third to the tenth term, we're adding D seven times. So that would be seven D because repeated addition is multiplication. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, well, what's the difference between 26 and five? because this great big difference here, whatever this difference is, if I divide that big difference by seven, I'll get the difference between each term. So 26 minus five is 21. And then I'm going to say, okay, well 21 is the equivalence of, check this out, it's the equivalence of seven common differences. So we divide both sides by seven. Let me do that in just a different color here. We divide both sides by seven and we get a common difference of three. So we add three and we get to eight. We add three and we get to 11. Add three, 14. Add three, 17. Add three, 20. Add three, 23. Add three, 26. It works, yay. So now the first term Okay, a sub one to a sub three. Now we're gonna go backwards. So now my third term is five. How do I get backwards? Well, I'm going to have to subtract a common difference. That's gonna get me to a sub two. And then I'm gonna to have to subtract a common difference again, because I'm going backwards, right? So I'm gonna to have to subtract two common differences from five. Well, what's two common differences. Well, that would be six. So we're gonna subtract six. When I subtract six, that gets me negative one. So my first term is negative one, and then I can just simply add three, get the second term, add three, get the third term, add three, get the fourth term, and so on and so forth. So now let's do this with some crazy numbers. We've got 25 thirds and 95 sixths. 25 thirds. And that's the value of the, I believe that's the value of our 17th term, yeah. So that's the 17th term, and then the 23rd term is gonna be 95 over six. I'm gonna copy this, I'm gonna do it on a new page so that you can see. There we go. We wanna find the common difference D and the first five terms. So from A sub 17, which is 25 thirds, to a sub 23, which is 95 six. I'm gonna have 23 minus 17. I've got six common differences. 
So this distance is 6D. Well, that distance is also 95 sixths minus 25 thirds. Now, don't be afraid to pick up a calculator, okay? Pick up a calculator and let's just do this. If you don't pick up a calculator, then you're gonna struggle like I am right now and you're gonna see me have to get a common denominator. 95 minus 50 is 45 sixths, which reduces, I don't even know why I did the right, 45 6, 95 minus 50. 95 minus 50 is definitely 45 6. And then 3 goes into that, so I'm going to have 15 over 2. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. 95 6 minus 25 thirds. Yep, nope, I'm good. It's 15 halves. So this right here is 45 6, which is the same thing as 15 halves. and that's equal to 60. Then I'm gonna multiply both sides by 1 6 so that I can figure out what that common difference is. So three goes into six twice, three goes into 15 five times. So our common difference is 5 fourths. So that's our common difference. So now I'm at a sub 17 and I need to go backwards to a sub 1. Well, how many common differences are there between a sub 1 and a sub 17? There's 16 of these guys. So there's 16 common differences. So 16 times 5 fourths is 20. So a sub 17 has a value a sub 17 was 25 thirds. I need to subtract 20 because I'm going backwards in time to a sub 1. So 25 thirds minus, I'm going to put 60 thirds because that's the same thing as 20 is equal to negative 35 thirds. And that's the value of the first term. Now, don't get so darn excited that you're like, oh, yeah, I got it, because now we have to find a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, a sub 5. So a sub 2, and change the color up here, a sub 2 is going to be negative 35 thirds plus 5 fourths. Just use your calculator. It's, it's just easier to use your calculator. That's going to be a sub 2. And then a sub 3, you're going to add 5 fourths again. And then a sub 4, you're going to add 5 fourths again. And then a sub 5, you're going to add 5 fourths again. And what you should get when you use your calculator, save yourself a headache, just use your calculator, make sure you're in fraction form you should get these answers, negative 35 thirds, negative 125 twelfths, negative 55 sixths, negative 95 twelfths, and negative 20 thirds for your first five terms.